Hello, my name is Lori. You can find me at Lori of Lemuria, L O R I E O F L E M U R I A dot com. And I'm also on Instagram at Lori of Lemuria. I wanted to take a quick moment to do a quick video on the process of releasing emotions in our body to bring in more of our higher self. And I wanted to talk about this subject because somebody really close in my life is going through um, a really, really difficult time. Um, he's moving through this ascension process and, and, and shifting into a higher vibration and, um, and really having a difficult time expressing and experiencing and letting go of all the emotion that are, that's in his body. And so I wanted to just touch base really quickly on what that means and why this is happening. I think it's happening to a lot of people and um, I just wanted to bring some color and light to it. So really quickly what's happening is we are ascending and our consciousness is evolving and our bodies are turning into light bodies. Our DNA is shifting into a crystalline DNA and we're moving into a higher vibration. So we're moving into a fifth vibration frequency. And, um, and so what this means is we are bringing in more of our light body and our light body is our higher self so our higher self lives above our crown chakra for the most part in the third dimension as you shift to the fifth dimension your higher self actually lives within your body so you are actually embodying your higher self um and so you are a light body encapsulated by a dense physical body but in the fifth dimension and and, and onward and onward you are actually your light body in, inside and so what is happening to all of us as we shift is, um, well, you know, we're third dimensional dense bodies. We've got emotion and, and all this crap from years and years of experience in this world. Uh, forget about past lives, right? So we've got all these past lives that have happened to us and we keep the emotional stuff that happened in our past lives. That's in us. That's carried with us from lifetime to lifetime to process out. And so, now we're going through this amazing awakening, this amazing ascension, this amazing shift. We're becoming these masters, these light beings. And when you say a light being, think about that for a second. Everyone's talking about, I'm a light worker, I'm a light worker, stop. What that means, you're a light worker. You are bringing in light into your body. You are becoming a light body. So you, you're actually physically bringing in higher consciousness to embody you. And what that means, and which is why this has been a very difficult process, is you have to clear out your emotions. And what that means is every emotion is stored in your body that you don't express and experience. So all of the things that have happened in your life, traumatic experiences for the most part. Usually when you have happy experiences, you don't stuff it. Like if something great happens, you're not like, oh, I don't want to feel that. I just like won some award. I don't want to feel that. I'm going to stuff that down so I don't feel that joy. We rarely hold positive emotions in our body because we love to experience them. When you start to fall in love, you don't say to yourself, oh, no, no, no. I don't want to fall in love. I don't like this feeling. I'm going to stuff this feeling inside and not feel it and just keep going. Now, so when you look at your emotions, there isn't a negative and a positive. It's not like a good emotion or a bad emotion. It's just an emotion that you experience, an emotion that you don't. And we don't like to experience the negative emotions, negative meaning the uncomfortable emotions. We like to experience the great emotions. So all these great things happen to us in our lives and we experience them. We are like, we feel it. We feel all of it. And then we have the bad experiences and we have the emotions that come up that we don't like to feel, like the fear the jealousy, the abandonment, the um, unworthiness, uh, you know, experiences where, you know, if something happened in your childhood where you were um, abused in any way, you know, there's a lot of things that are going to come into your emotional body, like fear, rejection, I'm not loved, I'm not worthy, those things come in. If you had somebody leave you at an early age, you know, that's going to be abandonment, uh, something's wrong with me. What did I do wrong? All these emotions that start to come in, you don't want to experience because they're very uncomfortable. You stuff them. So now we have all these emotions throughout our lives in our body. They don't, they're stored. You have to experience them and let them out. Okay. And a lot of times we don't even know they're in there. 
We think we went to therapy. We think we talked them out. You can't talk this out. It just comes up and it just comes up and it goes out and it's released. So in this process of ascension that everyone's so excited about, um, which is an amazing thing, but it also requires a lot of work. And in order to bring in the light body, our emotions have to be released. So what's happening with people is they are expanding. The crown chakras are opening. They're bringing in more light. Now, here's a quick, I'm over my time limit, but here's the thing. When you bring in more light, it's not like, oh, I'm just going to bring in my higher self and then that's it. And then your higher self, and then your higher self goes back up here, right? So typically what happens is we have a meditation. It's awesome. We have these experiences. We feel our higher selves in our body. We're vibrating. Everything's fabulous. And then we wake up the next day and we feel back to normal and higher self isn't with us, but we know higher self is up here somewhere and blah, blah, blah. It's shifting. We are bringing higher self into our body to embody our higher self. Our higher self is now going to be within us in our body. We will be light bodies. So it needs the space. It cannot come in and have the muck, so to speak, of the emotions that we haven't cleared out. So that's what we're doing. We're clearing out all of our emotions and I'm watching people go through this process, myself included, and it can be painful. Because a lot of times you don't even know where these emotions come from, right? You're like, wait a second, I was totally stoked and happy yesterday and now all of a sudden I'm on my couch, laying down, feel like I got ran over by a bus and I'm super sad, but I have no idea what just happened. I can't even pinpoint that emotion. I don't even necessarily know where that emotion came from or why I'm having it. Well, I'm here to tell you that that's part of the ascension and whatever happened yesterday, whatever happened in your sleep, you don't even need to know what happened, but more light came into your body and flushed out these emotions. So know that as you're going through these really difficult times for some of us, right? As you're going through these challenging, challenging emotions that are coming up, know that this is part of the process. Know that, that it has to happen, that you are actually evolving. The more emotion you feel, the more you're evolving. The more you're in pain, the more you're releasing, the more you're saying, oh crap, here comes more fear. Oh crap, here comes more jealousy coming up. Awesome. Yes, because that means you're releasing it from your body, which means you're bringing in more higher light, higher self, light body. So think of it that way, as uncomfortable as it is, and as much as your life is shifting and changing and you don't want to go through this, think about it like it's a blessing. Think about it like it's a gift. Think of it as it, you cannot move forward. You cannot become the, the master, the light worker, the um, embodied, uh, amazing person that you're going to become if you don't release this shit. So keep going. Don't stop. Don't think you're falling backwards when you're going through crap. Don't think you're falling backwards when you're lying on a couch for an entire day. Don't think you're going backwards when you have all these deep, deep, deep pains and emotions that are coming up that you don't even know about. You don't need to know where they're coming from. It doesn't matter any longer where they came from and why you're feeling them. It doesn't matter. All that matters is that you just release it out. Get it out. Feel it. Look at it. Say, thank you. I see you. Boop. There you go. Thank you. I see you. Boop. Put it aside. That's it. No, where is this coming from? Why am I feeling this way? Well, I don't understand. I need to relate it to something that happened in my childhood. Blah, 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 blah. Uh-uh. No more. No. So just do that. Keep going. We're all doing amazing. We're all moving forward. Even if you feel like you aren't, you are. Even if you feel like the emotions are dragging you down, just push through. Just feel it and keep going. And with that, I will say goodbye. Um, watch for my next videos. I'm going to do a couple more videos on a higher self meditation and um, some other fifth dimensional stuff. So I will be back again. Thank you so much for listening and watching. Um, I wish you all amazing journeys on your path through this amazing ascension and fifth dimensional shifting. And um, again, you can find me at uh, laurieoflemuria.com and on my Instagram, laurieoflemuria. And if you have any questions, um, email me. I think my email address is on the YouTube as well. All right. Namaste. Love you. Bye.